What is going on YouTube and welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be looking at Facebook interest targeting. I've shown you guys what flex targeting is. Now I'm going to show you what interests you should be targeting, which interests actually contain the people that are going to buy our product. We're going to be using a tool called Audience Insights, which we'll find within the Ad Manager. And guys, you're going to want a pen and paper for this because there's a lot of information to take in. There's a lot of tips and tricks along the way, so make sure you do take notes. Now, before I actually jump in the computer, I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for the engagement and kind words that have been posted on my channel it really means a lot it's really motivating to know that what that this work I'm putting into the videos is actually helping you guys I actually got a message on Instagram the other day from somebody who said they made their first sale which was amazing in fact I'll put uh, I'll post a screenshot now of it so you can just see it just it really means a lot so thank you so much and um, thanks for tuning in and without any further ado then guys let's get into it what is going on then YouTube and welcome to my computer so before we get started I just want to say a massive massive thank you to everyone who subscribed so this is like my channel homepage and as you can see we're almost at 300 subscribers which is just it's kind of mind-blowing actually when I first started this YouTube channel I had no idea if anyone would actually watch me or not so to get 300 subscribers just really does mean a lot it's really motivating to see that people are enjoying the content that I'm putting out so yeah I just wanted to say thank you that being said then let's actually get into the topic of the video which is Facebook interests how do we actually find the interests that contain the people that are actually going to buy our product so to do this we're going to use a tool called audience insights and the way we find this is actually within our ad manager account all tools and it's in this plan section here audience insights um, and as you'll see when as you saw at the beginning of the video there's like a pop-up just make sure you click everyone on Facebook um, there's usually like a quick like setup things it, just in case you haven't got that we'll go through it now so just make sure that you've got the right country in here so in our in our case we are only advertising to the United Kingdom so we're going to put that in there just to make sure that the people and numbers it gives us are relative to the country we're going to be advertising in and then we're just going to leave these broad at the moment because what we're going to do is put our niche into this box here and we're going to let Facebook actually tell us what the ideal age and gender is. So to start with then, we're just gonna put the dog niche in, and this is just gonna give us everyone who's engaged with a post to do with dogs. So as you can see, there's nine to 10 mil million people that are active within this sort of, within this niche, and that is monthly. So that this is mega, mega broad. So as you can see, for a beginner who has an unmatured um, pixel then to go out there and actually just target dogs as a whole it's going to be showing it to this many people and the chances of actually finding a buyer or someone that much into dogs who's going to buy our product um, is very slim so the way we what we actually need to do then is actually find specific interests that are relative to our niche and the way we do that is we click on this button here page likes and what this is going to show us then is this is going to show us different categories of interests and it's going to show us the interests that people within this niche have liked. And what we're going to try and do here is actually find one that's related to dogs. Because it's so general look, there's categories in here that are just completely irrelative to dogs. So grocery stores, none of them are to do with dogs. So we're just going to have a quick scan through then. And as we can see, Charity Organization Dogs Trust, that sounds relative to dogs. And all we're going to do then is click on it. So Dogs Trust, this will open it up. While that's loading, I'm just going to continue on and try and find another one that's relative. Dun, 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 dun. Not a lot there. As you can see, to target this niche as a whole, you're going to be targeting people that like these are the top categories look these are also the pages that people within this niche are liking so as you can see someone who's liked Warren James Jewelers they might not even own a dog or love lemonade or whatever it is the people within these interests might not even have a dog so you can see that just targeting dogs as a general is just going to be so inefficient so this page is loaded now and we'll have a look now what we want to do when we're looking at pages is see what their page is about we want to make sure that it's completely about dogs and only someone who is like into dogs or actually own dogs is going to be part of this page so you'll see a lot of charity pages um, within this niche and there might be charities for cat that includes dogs and cats and we don't want to be targeting things like that we want to target things that are purely specific to our niche so as you can see this particular page then is just dogs more dogs, 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 and no other animals, just dogs. So people who own dogs then, 
they're going to be drawn towards this page because it just posts about ducks. Um, we're just going to have a quick look at the engagements on the photos as well because that's a good indication of how active people are within um, within this interest. So if people are active, then they're more likely to be clicking on things and engaging with posts. So when they see your ad, if they've got a good chance of engaging with that too. So as we can see, <clears throat> a lot of different likes, 144 shares, 47 comments, so very decent. So what we're going to do now then guys, before we actually commit to this as an interest we're going to target, we're just going to put it back into our audience insights just to make sure that this is a completely relative or worthy target targeting option if you like. So dogs trust them, we'll go back over to here, we'll take out dogs and we'll put in dogs trust. And what we're looking for guys, when we put interests in this box here, what we're looking for is for all these top categories or at least sort of anything over 70% of them just to be related to dogs because what that tells us then is that people within this interest, people who have liked or engaged with that interest, most of the other interests they're engaging with is dogs as well. So that tells us that they're, they're dog people if you like, they're engaging with a lot of different dog posts. Um, another thing to point out is if you scroll to the bottom of the page like section you also get this where it gives certain pages an affinity score and what this means it explains it there but it basically means these are also the pages that people are liking who have also liked Dogs Trust. So another good indication then is if the majority of these are dog related as well. If they're broad and completely random things then we want to stay away from this as an interest just because it shows, so let's have a look at this one for instance. Spanner, what's that? The super fair, RSPCA. So we know that's a charity for animals, but someone who's engaged with that doesn't necessarily own a dog. Like people can be emotional or like sympathetic towards animals and just engage with their posts. They don't necessarily own animals themselves. So this is actually not the greatest interest to go and target because this doesn't all just screen dogs to me. There's so there's lots of different like villager gym, um, animal sanctuary, the donkey sanctuary. So as you can tell, these aren't all just about dogs. So it's still quite a broad interest to be targeting. Now, hopefully I'm kind of building the picture of what an ideal interest look like. Um, if there's any questions at all, guys, make sure you do leave a comment um, down below. I do answer each and every question personally. Um, and forgive me if this video is going on for a while. It's, it is quite an important video um, and it might be quite long, but just bear with me because believe me, guys, this is where like your Facebook ads will be made. If you can understand this and understand what a good and highly targeted interest is, then you can go out there into pretty much any niche and pretty much sell any product as long as it's decent. So just stick with me and just try and get your head around this as much as possible. And as I said earlier, just any questions at all, then just ask away. Um, so we'll move on then to a different interest and to keep the process going all we're going to do is use this to find the next one that we're going to look at so again we're looking for something that's purely related to dogs now a good place to start would be this affinity section here because obviously these are the pages within this that people are liking so the guide dogs for the blind association then we'll open that up uh, pets at home hillside animal now none of these are screaming like like dogs specific to me um, borrow my doggy hillside animal pets at home again they're quite broad uh, so we'll, we'll ignore them then we've got two to go on we'll get rid of dogs trust we've already looked at that so the guide dogs for the blind then so charities uh, sometimes they work really really well and sometimes they don't work at all I touched on it earlier where people can be sympathetic towards something even though they've got no relation to it so even if you don't own a dog you can be sympathetic to a cause and charity like this which which would make you engage with a post so um, so they're not always the best things to target, but then sometimes they are. You you, you will need to experiment with different things. Um, so we'll just have a quick look through then. Um, I'm trying to make this video not too long. So again, it's getting good engagements. 65 shares. They've got different events. Uh, so Guide Dogs UK then. We'll just go back quickly to here. Guide Dogs UK. Guide Dogs for the Buying Association, and that's it. I'll just shorten this down. 
and now again this is looking quite broad but we're, get, we're getting closer to the mark so as you can see all these different interests and pages are given an affinity score and anything over a thousand is pretty good so it basically means that people within this page and interest are like very more or much more likely to like these so I'll open that up because that sounds all about dogs and the guide and that is what we've just looked at so I'll have a quick look through these a villager gym that keeps coming up pets at home again this is a bit too broad for me I'll probably stay away from this so we'll move on sponsor guide dogs for blind get rid of that next one was borrow my doggy so as you can see it's all about dogs more dogs 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 everything dogs uh, 300,000 likes let's check out the engagements two shares 39 likes two shares 55 likes and so not a great amount of engagement we might not be able to target this bear in mind guys you won't be able to target every page or every interest it does depend on the size of them so borrow my doggy so as you can see this one isn't coming up nope let's move on sponsor a puppy again this is very dog orientated so that's a good sign 65,000 people like it um, see this is again even though this has got like, a lot less likes than the other page look at the engagement the engagements are so much better so we can tell immediately that people are really passionate about this this page so sponsor a puppy Not finding it. Let's try this. So it's a guide up with blind association. It might be a bit too small to find. So yeah, that one isn't coming up either. Now, guys, I apologise if we keep coming to brick walls, but this is just what's going to happen with your product research. I haven't planned this or mapped this out at all. This is all completely raw. So forgive me if I do stop talking or or come to things. Uh, where I'm not sure in what direction to go. So we'll go back to dogs again. Try and find something else to uh, to give us the lead. We'll start with dogs trust, didn't we? Let's see if we can find another one within that. Dun, 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 dogs trust. PSA, Blue Cross, Guide Dogs, we've used that one. Hmm, there's not a lot here. There's not a lot here at all. So if you do ever come across situations like this, guys, where you hit literally hit like a oh, just completely dead end, then you can always go across to um to Google. So and just search in Google and then see if you can find it on Facebook. Dogs, so Dogs Trust, that was actually one we looked at. RSPCA, Blue Cross, Blue Cross, Pets for Homes. The Mirror, Battersea, Meet the Dogs Ready to be Loved. So Battersea, I think, I've, I think we've already come across that one actually. Uh, Battersea, Dogs and Cats Home. So, hmm, let's see if we can open this page up. So it says it in the name, it includes cats. So this ain't gonna be that specific towards our customers, if our customer, if we're trying to sell a dog product. Uh, as you can see, yeah, there's cats and things. So not an interest that we wanna be targeting. However, looking at the page likes related to this, we may be able to find one that is relatable to us. Uh, back to the Romanian and the dogs. Let's try that. What else have we got? Not much there, as you can see, it's all very broad. Uh, the guide dogs for blind, we've seen that before. Now, this blue cross keeps popping up, so I'm just going to open that up. Um, my instinct tell me no, but we may be able to find other interests using it. So, dogs, dogs, cats, hmm, not really that dog specific. We'll keep it up for now. Romanian underdogs, dogs, 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 dogs. 
100,000 likes, so we should be able to target this. Uh, the engagement is pretty poor though, to be honest. Look at these. Uh, let's try anyway. Romanian underdogs. So as you can see, it's a lot of trial and error, a lot of backwards, uh, a lot of back and forth. Romanian underdogs. So we can't target this one either. So as you can see then guys, this isn't going very well. Um, but just make sure you be persistent, don't give up. Uh, Blue Cross, so let's try putting this one in. Blue Cross Animal Charity. And da -da -da. Four Paws UK, so that's that could be dogs and cats actually. Uh, Cats like Felix, Barry my doggy, we've looked at that one before. Not a lot here either, guys. Hmm. We're coming to a bit of a brick wall. Let's go back to Google. Let's try um, dog shops, dog stores that we can we can target. I don't think it will even find any just dog specific stores. Let's try dog food brands. Hmm. In fact, let's try dog magazines. So dog magazines, anything magazine is usually pretty good, especially if people have to pay to subscribe to it because they're already spending money within that niche. They're already making that commitment. And someone who's willing to spend money on a dog magazine, then the chances are they have a dog, right? They're not gonna spend money on a magazine about dogs if they don't own a dog themselves. So let's try try this way. Uh, so you, straight away, I subscribe, 24.99, that's quite expensive. Your dog magazine, let's see if we can target this. Your dog, here we go. Right, so hopefully we're getting a bit closer now. Let's minimize this to 10 and immediately guys looking at most of these canines toughies dog beds extra dog your dog magazine don't know what that is pet munchies dog walking fields so we've got a lot of dog pages there which is good that's a good sign uh, let's have a look at the affinity scores and again a lot of dog things down here so again this is this is a good interest to be tagged in because as you can see that anyone involved in this interest their other interests also include mainly other dog pages which means they are a dog person if you like they really like dogs because they're engaging with a lot of dog related pages so this would be a good interest to go out and target if you are in the dog niche so the best thing to do is just make notes of these ones um, make sure you don't forget them so just have a spreadsheet and I've forgotten the name of it. What was it called? Your Dog Magazine. And what we'll do is we'll just make a note of the audience size as well. Uh, so 25 to 30K monthly. And we'll try and build that up to a million just so we've got as many options as possible. So now we'll get rid of these. Um, let's see what that is. Let's see what that is. And that. Let's try that. It's pretty much the same thing. So now we start from this one, Dorist Herbs in pet care. So I'm gonna stay away from that because we want it to be dog specific, extra dog. So these guys look like they actually sell dog products purely for dogs, they're dog trainers. So it's all about dogs. So the chances are so anyone engaging with this post is going to have a dog themselves. Uh, so let's see if we can actually target this one. It's quite a small page, so the chances are we won't be able to, but it's still worth a try. Extra dog, no. Unfortunately not. Tuffy's dog beds then. 
again quite a small page but again this would be ideal because look it's, it's about dog products and it's half decent engagements too so anyone anyone engaging with a shop that sells products just for dogs they've, they, they've just got to have a dog right it just makes sense so Tuffy's dog beds can't get this one either Tuffy local business I don't think that's it no. We'll come back. Uh, British College of Canine Studies. Again, a very small, small page. And chances are we're not going to get anything out of this either. Let's get rid of that. Britain, I think BCC. not here so as you can see guys it is quite a time consuming process um, and it's there's no smooth way of doing it it literally is just a case of spending hours and hours going through so what I've done then guys is I stopped recording and continue doing the product research just because I felt like the video was getting too long um, so I carried on doing my research until I found a good example basically to show you guys um, like I said, I didn't want the video to get too long or too boring. I just feel like people will just end up clicking off. However, if you do actually want me to like do a raw video that might be 30 minutes long, 40 minutes long, or even an hour, then make sure to let me know down below because that's no problem to do. I can I can quite easily do that. Um, but in terms of like everyday videos, I just want to try and keep them as short and jam packed and valuable as possible. Anyway, so this is the interest that I come across then, Dogs Today magazine, and I just wanted to get one to show you guys, just so you've got a good example of what a good interest to go out and target is. Um, so yeah, Dogs Today magazine, and as you can see in this page like section, 90% of the pages or interests on this list are related to dogs. So dog friendly, doggy solutions, holidays for dogs, canine, off the leash, countryside dog walks, Extra Dog, British College of Canine Studies. So as you can see, this they're all related to dogs, which means someone who's interested in Dogs Today magazine, then the majority of their other interests are gonna be dogs too, which, which makes them a dog person, which gives them a high chance of actually owning a dog. And if we also have a look at the affinity section down below, look at these affinity scores, they're all over a thousand, and the majority of them again are for dog related pages. So that then guys is an ideal interest to go out and target just because everything about it just spells dogs everything is just dog related now as a beginner this would be a great one to target it's a it's a fairly small audience however if you did want to narrow it down even further then what we do is we we go into this demographic section and this tells us like the demographic of this particular interest so as we can see 85 percent of the people involved with this page are women which means we can go out and choose actually just to target the women within this page and then we can look at the different age groups as well so as you can see the most popular age groups here are 25 to 54 so again we could narrow our target audience down even further and just target people within that age range and there's also these other different options as well but i don't want to go into too much again i don't want to make it too long um, but if you do want a longer video where I'd literally go through everything that's going to be like possibly two hours long, then let me know. It's no problem to do. Uh, so and related, so you can go by relationship status, educational level, and even job title. So yeah, that's the video then, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. That is like what a good interest looks like. Um, I apologise. I didn't record me actually finding it and coming across it. Um, I just. I just didn't know how long it was going to take basically there's no way of telling this is quite a timely process but honestly guys stick with it and put the hours into this because believe me it's worth it you only need to find that one good interest or a lot that handful to actually go out there and make a considerable amount of money so that's the video then guys i hope you enjoyed it if you're still watching by now then thank you very much um if you did find any value there then make sure you hit that like button subscribe for daily videos and thanks for tuning in guys see you guys tomorrow